That's a funny old church, this MSIA. We don't hold a mass or a service. We have a seminar and hardly ever on a Sunday. But if you wanted, you could attend a seminar every other day of the week. We have no cathedral or synagogue or even a humble chapel, just the homes and hearts of those who move towards the same awareness. MSIA does have a Bible, but it comes in monthly installments and builds up to a comprehensive spiritual digest with a thousand and one helpful hints for the spiritual home handyman. <laughs> and courses, well, there's discourses and SAT courses and PAC courses and PTS courses. A glorious smorgasbord of choices. But watch out for those prerequisites. <laughs> Look, it's really very simple. Just remember that you can't do a three before a two or a two before a one or one before three discourses, three, th three seminars, or three consecutive lifetimes as an Indian yogi. <laughs> Got it? MSIA is the only church I know with more ministers than congregation. <laughs> There's Reverend Pam and Peggy and Pete and Prue, Reverend Kay and Don and Michael and Sue, the list goes on and on. And yet, even with the room full of them, you think we could rustle up a single fire and brimstone sermon? <laughs> nope. We'd rather watch a JR video and then fall asleep halfway through. <laughs> in fact, there are so many ministers that sometimes I think I must be the only one in Brisbane who isn't one. <laughs> so, I guess that makes me the congregation. The only sheep in the flock amongst so many shepherds. <laughs> Perhaps this explains why, when I turn up to these events and after a month of hiding, all the reverends come up to me and ask, where in the flock have you been, Tim? <laughs> yep, it's a funny old church, this MSIA. Years ago at my childhood church, no amount of prodding, pleading, and guilt inducement could prize my heart earn pennies away from me. Nowadays, dear MSIA, without even trying, ever so gently relieves me of my 10% without disturbing the smile on my face, the master spiritual pickpocket. <laughs> I love MSIA's gentle nature and its non-invasive manner. I especially adore the way that in this church, no one ever trapped you in a corner. Looks you in the eye with a big goofy leer and asks, brother, have you found the Lord yet? <laughs> These days I generally answer, would that be the Lord of the astral, causal, mental, or etheric realm you're looking for? <laughs> Works every time. You see, our, ch doesn't, our church doesn't really have a Lord or God to worship, just a traveler and a way shower to point us in the right direction. I must admit that for many years, I thought they were talking about a way shower. <laughs> the type of shower that rhymes with flower that all we had to do was go and stand under the shower of light for our karma to be washed away. But alas, it's way shower, not shower. And I've learned that it's up to me to wash off my karma with however big a scrubbing brush it takes. Yep, it's a funny old church, but it works. Most of all, it works for me. Yeah.